John versus Puxatawney Phil, and I'll go with John anytime. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Warm day tomorrow. West winds will uh, push that thermometer up to about 66 degrees, lots of sunshine, and then it cools off. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't going to make much ado of this, but since the guys brought it up tonight, this is my last night here at Channel 11, and I wanted to say thank you to so many people on the staff who have given of their time and their hearts to make this, I think, the best newscast in North Texas. I'm very proud to have been associated with all of these people, and it's been an honor to have many of you watching. The support the viewers have shown over the last few months has been tremendous and have shown in the four and a half years that, that I've been here. I will never forget it. I appreciate everything that you have done for me, and I, you have my respect, my best wishes, and Godspeed to all of you. Good night, everybody. Foreseen video from inside. Foreseen video from inside American Airlines Flight 1420. Passenger shows us how he got out alive. And now, CBS 11 tonight. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for watching. We'll show you that exclusive video in a moment, but we begin tonight with the end of an era. Al Lipscomb resigned today from the Dallas City Council after fighting for the rights of people for over three decades. Now he's fighting to stay out of prison. Lipscomb was convicted of bribery and conspiracy nearly two weeks ago in Amarillo. He'll be sentenced next month. CBS 11 reporter Brian Custer is live at Dallas City Hall tonight where Lipscomb served for 14 years. Brian? Well, Tracy, Al Lipscomb and the judge overseeing his case have a history that dates back nearly 20 years. Now, federal judge Joe Kendall did not want to comment about it, but tonight many Lipscomb supporters feel some bad blood could lead to an unfair sentence.